Hey, how's everybody doing out there? I know I haven't, you can play. I know I haven't made a video in about shoot a month now, so I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. I'll probably have to break it down into two or three videos. The first one will be um, I haven't made a video showing how my K day went, so I hear a lot of people had bad K days. Mine didn't go as bad as a lot of other people's. Um, my girlfriend was out in Kmart, so I was able to kind of hit up two at once out in California. She found these. They didn't have these Volkswagens um, at the K-Day I was at here in Las Vegas. So I was happy to get those. Kind of waited for them for a while. Looks like everybody kind of had the same K-Day, so I'll try to keep the video kind of short. Found the regular Chevelle, the repaint of the um, Toyota Land Cruiser. Nothing special. It's a pretty boring K-Day comparison to uh, last year. Last year seemed to be a lot better. I got the Plymouth Cuda. These are all the ones that my girlfriend picked up for me. Like I said, we didn't have any of these. We had the same case going around. Had about 23 cases at my Kmart. This one's kind of cool here, the Buick Riviera. It's kind of neat graphics. It's a different piece. Other than that, I just got two sets of the um, the four recolors. I was not really impressed by any of them. Last year's was a lot better, I think. We got two sets of those. No biggie. A lot of people complained about no treasure hunts and stuff like that. I didn't do too bad. I think we had uh, about 23 cases at my store. About 20 people. Seems like it. Got the uh, Ford Gran Torino. The Datsun. I thought that was a cool piece. Big Mopar guy, so I like the Plymouth GTX and the Monte Carlo. I got four cases. Um, each each one of my cases had a treasure hunt in it. I really don't like these treasure hunts at all. The Ducatis. I went in there thinking I'm gonna be mad if I don't get a super. You know, it doesn't really sound right, but I didn't. I don't like this treasure hunt at all. You know, looks like a regular regular piece to me. But nonetheless, I got four of those. And the very first case I opened up. I did get a super, so this made my K day. I was the only person at the whole Kmart to get a super, uh, super treasure hunt. I think I was the sixth ticket pulled, and out of all those twenty-something cases, nobody else got one besides me. So normally I don't have that kind of luck, so I appreciate that. I pretty much day can't get much better than that. Got a super, got a regular. So I like it, the uh, Super Chevelle. So that's pretty short. That's kind of how my K-Day went. I'll show you guys a couple other things that I got before I move on to another video. So my other videos, I got some garage cars to show you guys and uh, some collector's pieces, all kinds of cool stuff. Here's an error card I found. 69 Pontiac GTO. Of course, it has a Dodge Super B in the package. I found two of these, exactly the same at a Walmart. Found one one day, went back a couple days later. Uh, found another one. So that's one of my first real error packages. I picked up a couple of the um, cars of the decades, ones that are harder to find, at least out here. Got the Buick Grand National. They're pretty sharp. Not very good lighting, but I like the graphics on it. One that's really hard for me to find anyway. I finally got the Camaro. 67 Camaro. Got the metal base. Kind of sharp looking flower power status going on. I don't know if I showed you guys this one or not, the car of the deck is a uh, Roadrunner. Kind of a cool piece. Um, I also went to Walmart and I found some of the holiday cars that they have. Just so happened, three cars that I really like. They got the Datsun 240Z. I like that a lot. Picked up a Cadillac ZT, uh, CTS V. This is a sick car. It's on my uh, cars to buy list. Preferably the uh, coupe though. And then you guys know I am about Lamborghinis, so I picked up the Lamborghini casting. I was happy that they had that. Um, picked up some other Lamborghinis here. Picked up, I picked up the Hot Ones Lamborghini. Kind of a cool piece, kind of chunky looking. I need to find the chase piece. I'm kind of working out a deal on that right now. And um, 
Picked up these pieces back from 2009. I got um, I got one without the holiday decoration, one with the holiday decoration. It's kind of cool. Got a dream garage. It's a piece I didn't have before. Got a soft corner on the card right there is the only bummer. Um, what else do I got here? Found this is Swap Meet Virtual Collection. It's a real nice blue. The card's kind of beat to crap, but. I mean, soft corners here. No veins on the card. But I haven't seen this one, so. There's another one down. Found a couple short cards that I didn't have the uh, Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Not too sure I'm pronouncing that right, but. These came out before I started collecting this year, so I found the orange variation. Regular one as well. So there's, there's my newer Lamborghinis for now. What else do I got here? There's another car of the decades I forgot to show you guys, the Ford Thunderbird. I'm not too into collecting all of these, but I collect the ones that I like. Um, they're all right. Only available at Walmart. I picked up some sharp red lines from Walmart off of eBay. Got the, I think four out of the ten. Pretty good price. Lighting doesn't really do it. There you go. You can kind of see the red line. Red line, uh, 70 Chevelle SS wagon. I really like the red lines for this year. These are the 2009. The 010s. I don't really like the set. Got the Ford Fairlane. Pretty sharp looking. I like that car. I like a cranberry red Shelby uh, GT500. A lot of people dig this. I'm not a big Ford guy, but it is a sharp model. Got the plastic chrome plated base. Or painted, should I say. And I got the Red Line Racing Delivery. Not a bad looking piece. Not a bad looking piece. Alright, let's see what else I can go over with you guys here. Went to my shop. And I finally found the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Ecto-1 vehicle. I was looking for that for a while. Finally found it. Cards in good shape. It's a cool vehicle. Hot Wheels Collector. You gotta have it, I guess. I like it. Here's the base, PR5 wheels. Good looking car. I'm a big Dodge Super B fan, so I found a Super B, a red one, that I didn't have, 2008 model. First time I've seen a red one. These cars are just sick looking. I like the Dodge Super Bs. Really nice. I found uh, another 59 Chevy delivery. I forgot where I was when I found it. I think at a Walmart or something like that. From last K-Day. This was the car. I wish I found a super of it. I was at Smith's grocery store. They had just unloaded a four-sider uh, four shipper. And I got a regular and a super treasure hunt of the Tucker Torpedo. Kind of sharp looking. I already had uh, one. This is a double. I did find the super. There's a little bit of deeper paint. You guys want to compare the two real quick? A little bit deeper color paint. Uh, white walls. Both of them have little white walls, but this one is a little bit thicker. Um, I'm not a super fan of the casting, but it's okay. Both of them have pretty much the same base. Just wheels are a little bit different. But I'm glad I found it. I found some more hot birds. I'm a big hot bird guy. Yeah, those are just old news right there. I'm a big hot bird guy. So I found this hot bird at the shop. I got the red one with the blue flames. It's 
so I think I like that model. All right, and then you got a silver hot bird. This one I think is really cool. Got the blue firebird emblem right there. Good year on the tires. One of my nicer hot birds. Got the green dairy delivery from the Hot Wheels Classics. You got red lines on the tires. Speaking of hot birds, if I can find it. I finally got the hot bird treasure hunt. I actually bought, I found a chase piece, a Volkswagen, one of the hot ones, the chase piece, and I uh, sold it on eBay. Oh wait, no. Yeah, that's how it happened. I sold it on eBay and basically kind of swapped it for this bad boy. Oh, that's why they make protecto packs. Got the deep dish tires, uh, Spectra flame paints, still has the uh, Hopper logo on there. You can see it, not too well. And now I have the regular and the super. It's been a piece I was after, so I'm glad that I got it from 2008. So I guess that's it for now. I got more stuff to show you guys, but I'll have to break that down into another video. But it's pretty good stuff. A lot of garage cars and uh, real riders, stuff like that. So, alright, thanks for watching. See you guys.